Hello, everyone, and welcome to Adobe Live. I'm Christine Arth, your host, and I am here with our guest, Dave Arcade. <laughs> You're like, all the fingers. <laughs> uh, today, we have a great session. Dave's going to be focusing on day three of his illustration of this poster. Yes. Pretty amazing. We'll go over that in just a second. But first, we've got a couple things to talk through. Uh, we've got an awesome chat and win today. So stick with us because Sticker Mule is going to be giving away 100 free stickers. Yes. Wow. It's the fastest, easiest way to buy custom stickers, and 100 of them could be yours. <laughs> so just stick with us later. And then we've also got a great schedule today. So right now, we're going to be on with Dave Arcade from 9 to 10.30. And then this afternoon, Tracy Ching will be in with Alice Lee. And then at noon, we've got Aldo Crusher back and uh, I'll be here hosting him. And then at 1.30, Andy Espinosa will close out the day with Alice Lee. So it's gonna be a pretty awesome day. A lot of different illustrations, a lot of different styles. So depending on what you're looking for, you're gonna learn a lot. Um, we also have portfolio reviews today. So there's no daily challenge. What it is is that you guys have time right now to submit your portfolio and Dave Arcade will review your portfolio. So live feedback is the best feedback. Yes. <laughs> um, speaking of, uh, we had a winner yesterday that I'd love to show everyone. Hold on while I put that up on my screen. Yes, uh, Amal Amaltia was the winner from yesterday's challenge. Awesome. Congratulations. We loved this illustration. We thought it was really funny. It definitely feels like roasted. Yep. <laughs> that one's amazing. Yeah, it's super cute. Um, I love the dog. <laughs> He's just so cute and fat. Um, <laughs> anyhow, uh, congratulations on the win. That means that you get a year's subscription to Creative Cloud, which is Pretty awesome. You always want to say your supply, don't you? Your supply. Yeah, I'm like, you get a supply of Creative Cloud for a year. It's like vitamins. You're like, Creative Cloud. Kind of is like vitamins. It is. Um, congrats, Amaltia. So, Dave, tell us a little bit about what you're doing right now, and maybe we I can. Can't. <laughs> Um, Maybe we could go through what you did over day one and day two to begin. Yeah, so day one and day two was just trying to uh, Well, figure... it's come a long way, so it'd be great to show some of the layers and build up of where, okay. where you that. started yeah. and what your inspiration was. So let's get <clears throat> rid of stuff. Um, oh, I guess my type is not on that layer. It's right here. <laughs> Hi, chat. While we're while we're while we're waiting for Dave to put up some layers and get back to the very first layer that he started with, definitely um, let us know if you have any questions for Dave. He's here mainly just to answer your questions and to do a little bit of drawing. You know, no big deal. <laughs> I'm like combining layers. Hi, Jan Eric. Welcome back. Oh, Henry Smith is here. Henry. Yes. All three days, man. All three days. Yes. Lindsay, Michael Dehan. Amber Corker. Michael DeHaan's not here. Yeah, he is. Oh, there he is. Dave, it's Michael Dijon Mustard. You're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you changed your name? Tim Mobeast. What's up? Tim's been here this whole time. Tim's always here, man. Yeah, Tim, you're he's rad. The, he's the Mobest. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ricardo. We've got Tyrone. Amazing. We've got a really good group back with us. Uh, day three. It's been pretty, pretty fast. Yeah, it has. It's been too yeah. fast. Hi, Andre, you're back. Yes. Yes, Jan yeah, Eric's like, the crew is back together again. <laughs> oh, yes, and Eric Sue is always here. Hello, Eric. <laughs> Hola, Arlie. All right, so let's take a look. Why don't you walk us through where you started and um, how you got to where you're going? My layers are so disorganized. Um, hold on. <laughs> I got a lot of them together while you were talking. There we go. Oh, amazing. Amber, it's her first time catching live. That's awesome. You're going to definitely be back. <laughs> Let me see here. OK, so we kind of started uh, just with this grid. And that's where we're going to end it. So I'm done. <laughs> um, then, I'm like, really? <laughs> it's like, oh, cool. Uh, then I, I start with these. Uh, I actually start with, well, beyond the grid. I put in these little, these boxes, and these all represented where I knew I wanted type to be. And then, um, where is type? Type's not where it used to be. Then we have our little villain here, and then Yay. we're starting to kind of uh, render him out and make him real. 
Um, where? Ooh la la. Did I delete my type? <laughs> You're like, there yeah. oh good, we didn't delete. Thank goodness. I've done that. I've done that before. <laughs> uh, we have our type. We're gonna throw stuff on our type like this. And then. Whoa, so cool. Yeah, we're gonna start to mess up the type a lot. Nice. We're gonna screw up its life. And uh, then we put those things on yesterday, which took a little bit of time. This is our sketch. So cool. Um, we're missing stuff. Here we go. Oh, There's yes, our, the intestine monster. Our intestine monster is destroying this guy's ship. Does he have a name? It's probably Maybe. Ronnie. Ronnie? Yeah. Chat, you'll have to chime in. What do you think the name of the intestinal worm monster with teeth is? Yeah, give him a last <laughs> name, too. Yeah. Ronnie what? <laughs> uh, mattress. <laughs> Ronnie Mattress. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we're kind of we're kind of like in this weird place of Ronnie man. George. There's a lot of what what they say. <laughs> Siller says Ronnie George. <laughs> see see Michael DeHaan's answer, Dave Chandaludi. I'm telling yes. you, it's a Doug big... the Destroyer. Oh, that's good. I like Doug the Destroyer. Yeah, nice one, Paul. Doug the dentist. The fecalizer. <laughs> Squiggles be giggles. <laughs> no sound. Wormy McWorm face. <laughs> sound okay. It's sound okay. Is it, we're gonna name him Sound Okay. Sound Okay. I like that actually. <laughs> yeah, way to go, Fernando. <laughs> Ronnie Miss. Ronnie, Ronnie Miss Hap. I like that. Ronnie Tube Body. <laughs> Tube Body's great. Jeff. Tendrum. Erland Eater. <laughs> These are funny. Ronnie Rotten Gut. <laughs> I like the idea of the villain looking on his radar and he's like, I think Sound Okay has found us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> It's like that thing we were talking about early, paper-like. It's like yes. paper. Yeah. <laughs> paper-like. It's, it's paper-like. <laughs> so we're gonna just continue to rush through um, some some inking. We're not gonna do the whole thing because I want to take this into color and at least show you guys oh, yeah. how we're gonna color the type and stuff. We're probably going to live trace it so we can do live paint, but then I'm gonna bring that color back into Photoshop because I want to preserve um, the kind of analog feel of these lines, because my this this is this like a huge poster, and I don't I'm never gonna make it bigger than it is, so I don't need to worry about it being vector. Sometimes I do though, and I'll explain what I do in that situation, but I will not do that now. <laughs> this is looking really cool. I'm so excited to see some color in it, and it's really coming to life. Sound okay? Looks really scary. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie Worm face. <laughs> His parents call him Ronald, though. Is, I'm just gonna, is it okay if I just start drawing? Yeah, let's okay. do it. You're like, I'm getting in there. I'm like, oh yeah, you are. Okay, chat, so let us know where you're from. Let us know what your favorite, <laughs> what your favorite color is that we're gonna include. <laughs> and then um, yeah. ask questions for Dave RK because this is your, this is your chance today. It's day three. <laughs> Yeah, I'm never going to answer questions ever again. Never again. Teal. Oh, good. Paul wants to see some teal in there. <laughs> teal. We have any fans of pink, yellow, or purple? Ooh, yeah. Me, me, and me. Cool. <laughs> I love those colors. <laughs> I, I have do to, too. They're good. I. It's tough to strike the balance where it doesn't look like Easter. Oh, but, totally. You got to make it look more um, menacing. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of purple out there. Millennial pink. Yeah. What's millennial pink? It's like the hot pink, or is it the soft pink? I can't remember. It's one or the other. I mean. Millennials hijacked pink? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, millennials hijacked pink. There's Merple. Oh. What What's is that? Merple? What is Merple, Chris George? Please explain. Is it like a mossy purple? Yeah, you don't know. Yeah. Chris, you're oh. just making stuff up. Disney Park Green. I love when people describe it with such specificity. It's yeah. great. Yes, Jan Eric. Yes. Pinkish purple. Oh, Merple. Pinkish purple. You know, Chris, <clears throat> we've been friends for a long time, but not anymore. Mm hmm. He said, yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Chris is actually a pretty talented Oh, magenta learner. and purple is Merple. Thank you, Tim Mobis. You are the Mo best. I think Tim and I are friends now, Chris. Tim and I will always be friends. Did you say Robzilla was in the chat yesterday? Yeah, he was. I didn't even know that. 
Oh, and you guys, guess what? Yesterday, Kyle Brush was in the house and we got to hang out with yeah. Kyle Brush. Kyle. He might come in today. The guy. Fingers crossed. The guy, Kyle Webster, who um, Christine calls Kyle Brush, which is a better name for him. But it was really cool meeting him. Like, he's, yeah. he's kind of a hero. He's totally a hero. He makes the brush. Yeah. Yeah, Eric Sue's like, so cool. He was sitting in the, uh, like, common area. I thought it was him, but I didn't want to go up to him. I'm so glad that you you um, introduced me. That was cool of you. I'm pretty That's like cool. the first cool thing you've done. I <laughs> <laughs> the only cool thing I'll ever do, remember that. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You're, you're awesome. You've been great this whole time. Oh, Paul Everest has a question. Is it possible to use a Kyle brush as the pencil tool? So you can fill without alias, like Shauna did a few weeks ago. Hmm, that's a good question. We might have to think about that in chat and get back to you, Paul. What what what's he asking? Using a brush as a pencil. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you can Definitely. do that. He has tons of pencils. Yeah. Like so you can kind of sketch and get a sketchy look. Is that because all of this blue yeah. is Kyle, uh, Kyle brush, pencil Kyle brush, pencil, pencil Kyle brush pencil. Yeah. <laughs> So good. Uh, right now, guys, we're just making a vent. Oh, Chris Lee says, hi, Dave. And he loves the bonkers lonely type. He's loving it. Do you guys know who Christopher Lee is? No, he sounds like this Christopher is Reeves. Is he like a Superman? He's one of the most understudy? talented illustrators on, on Earth. And he likes my work, and it really makes me happy. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Do you want a high five for Chris Lee? Yes. You With guys, the glove, you got a glove high five. He, yes. Oh yeah, you got a glove five. <laughs> glove it, five, Chris Lee. There's all kinds of food on here and ears. Oh God. And, uh, <laughs> I was like, oh jeez. I wear it all the time. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, Chris, like signal noise, He's you know his work. Oh nice. He's been around for a while and he, <laughs> he draws like the most charming kind of 60s inspired characters you've ever seen. They're great. <laughs> Joseph Medina said a glove five is worth seven. I totally agree. <laughs> what, is, what does that mean? It's like better than a high five, it's a high seven. <laughs> oh, I like that. Uh, Here we are in that weird area again where it's Yes. Like, it's this the same? There we go, we're gonna just do that. Why am I drawing these when I could just do this? Welcome, Hifam. I don't know if it's your first time here, but if it is, it's gonna be a fun day because we've got Dave Arcade drawing crazy planets coming into a giant typeface ship and crazy worms with teeth. <laughs> and, and the lies too, like all my lies. All lie. the lies, yeah, he's yeah. a good liar. <laughs> but it's all in the name of joking. It's true. It's not like I lie to my wife and tell her that I'm not really seeing somebody else. Oh, Jan Eric says, can we get some Jazz Alley Orange? With a dash of symbol blue for the highs. What is dash? What? Is, what that's a dash like, of symbol blue. I like that. It's like jazz style. Jazz alley orange sounds really interesting. Right? It's kind of like that hot orange. You know what jazz alley orange is? I'm just gonna go with him here <laughs> and say yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Eric Sue wants a glove with our signatures on it. <laughs> um, I would so send that to you. Oh, with like a with a silver pen. Like a puffy pen, yeah. <laughs> like puffy paint. <laughs> that way, if he hates it, he can peel it off. <laughs> I'm always thinking about the future. <laughs> What's gonna happen in the future? Well, you know, like complete. <laughs> You've seen those movies, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, it, it comes true. Are there any good disaster movies? Hi, Emra movies? from Istanbul. Disaster movies, oh yeah, tons. Like, there are? What I mean, are, which ones? I always, I still go back to the 28 Days Later. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good movie. Yeah, it's still good. Remember when he's just walking around at the yes. beginning and the music gets more and more intense oh. and then it like crescendos and you're like, there's nobody here. Yes. That's... It's in incredible that they filmed that with in London with no one there. Yeah, how did they do that? I think they closed the roads. <laughs> you know what? I used, I worked, I've done many TV commercials. I know exactly how they did that. I don't know why I asked. I know. <laughs> I don't know exactly, but you're right. They closed they the roads. They closed the roads. <laughs> I was like, that was the easy answer. <laughs> oh, amazing. Okay, so Caroline Haynes is asking, Dave, how did you come up with this style? It's very original. Um, I probably stole it. Uh, do you want to know what happened? When I was thinking about, um, why are those lines so thick? I like them. <laughs> no, but this one right here, it's so thick and we can't have that. So now we have to erase it. Um, I started to 
draw a lot trying to rip off Bro's Mind. And uh, the more I did that, the more I realized a lot of other people were doing that too. Mm -hmm. But it got my it got my hand really, really drawy, really sketchy. And uh, then I started to kind of go back to my roots, like comic books as a kid and uh, comics in general. And uh, I just noticed how active the lines were and organic and flowy. And I just kind of, I don't know. I don't know how I started drawing like this. It just happened. Out of the love for science fiction? Yeah, kind of a love for science fiction. <laughs> I get a lot I'll just of- just sum that up for you, Dave. I'm like, he loves science fiction, everyone. <laughs> There's toys at his house. Am I not being concise enough, Christine? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> this is too fun. It I is fun. I can sit here and like, talk with you all day. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna miss you. I don't think you're gonna, gonna miss, miss me. I'm gonna miss you too. <laughs> but you, I'm gonna miss you. Um, Oh, this is when that heart emoji comes on. Da, na, 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 na. I like how Ryan Doran's <laughs> like, hello everyone, what's hello, up? Hello, Ryan. You've missed a lot. <laughs> yeah, Ryan, we are here with Dave Arcade and he is drawing an epic poster for this saying that he came up with. Outer, out of, wait. It's out a, of place in outer space, a lonely villain discovers base. Yep. Pretty cool. Thanks for zooming out. It really helps I people know. put I'm, it in their perspective. I'm sorry. No, it's great. Um, oh wow, lots of people are really excited. Yay, hi we're, Steven, hi Jennifer. We're getting to a point where we're gonna bring in color. Hi Simon. In just a minute. Yes. Where? Hi Thomas, greetings from Paris. Bonjour, bonsoir. Josh, howdy. Seth Campbell's in the house. Amazing. Oswiel is in the house. Mert. Ciao a tutti. Yay. Throw a mask on here. I'm gonna start messing up our type. Oh, Pujana's like, I'm so excited to see the finished illustration. Yeah, you're gonna have to keep us posted on this as oh. you finish it after the show. Yep. And um, I know that everyone on Behance was gonna wanna see. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on my Instagram <clears throat> and I'll put it on Behance. So you have to follow me on Instagram if you wanna see it. Amazing. I yes. <clears throat> started following you yesterday, but you didn't follow me back. <laughs> You're like, hey chat. Oh, you mean me? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were talking to chat. <laughs> I was like, yeah, chat, why didn't you follow him back? And then I'm like, oh, right, cool. He's probably talking to me. <laughs> I was probably asleep. <laughs> it no, was a long day yesterday. It was? What? Why was it so long? I don't know. I mean, like, it was 24 hours. That's a long time. <laughs> it's true. Ah, <laughs> oh, so good. So, chat, we've got about 11 minutes and nine seconds until chat and win comes alive. And you know what that means. That means that if you're in chat and you say anything, you say hello, your favorite color, or just be active in any way, you have the chance to win 100 stickers from Sticker Mule and their three by three die cut. So pretty awesome. Um, I know I have a bunch of them on my computer here, so I'm very excited for you guys. Hi, Afroha. It's been a while. Good to see you. Jordan Crawford is back. What's up, Jordan? What's up, Jordan? Steve is here. Steven Budatino, Budatano, Tonto. Oh man, butchered that. Sorry, hey, Steve. You tried. I did. I'm usually pretty good, but the, the easier ones are hard for me. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know. I know how to pronounce it. But... Siobhan Frazier, Lee Designer. He loves Chat and Win. Everybody loves Chat and Win. How does Chat and Win work? Well, if you're in chat, you could win. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. That's that's simple. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks I, for that, uh, you know, swing and hit. So, so yeah, <laughs> or yeah. Pitch and hit, yeah. It, pitch and hit. It's a common phrase. Yes. I keep accidentally drawing these noses. Can you see these right here? I love it. But I, I do this like uh, type of. Those are inner... good noses, by the way. But um, they're not supposed to be noses. Yeah, but they're like good old man noses. They are. I should use them for that. Well, yesterday you said in sometimes when you're drawing smoke you'll end up drawing wieners. Or butts. Or butts. See, like oh that. yeah, exactly. But. It's kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> I like when you can see other things in your work. Like a lot of times when I'll make logos, I'm like, oh, this one looks like, oh. <laughs> and then I'm like, you know what, I know that. I wonder if other people know that. Yeah. 
I've, I've worked with a person who couldn't help but accidentally draw wieners a lot. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's not their fault. No, they were born that way. It actually comes from an innocent place, I think. I think so too. Uh, Chris Lee says he wants to see this illustration on the next Daft Punk's music video. That would be so awesome. Right? I'll, ca I'll call them up. Yeah, totally. I'll be like, hey, I got art for you. Take it. Don't argue with me, yeah. Daft and Punk. We're going to take this. <laughs> if anyone has Daft Punk's phone number out there, please let us know. <laughs> um, a friend that I think I brought up every single day since I've been here had this joke when we go to secondhand stores looking for cool books. And he would always open up a box and be like, dude, Daft Punk helmets. And But he was kidding. Oh the first gosh. time I was like, I would be like, what? <laughs> Someday I want to buy some and yeah. go back to that store and plant them. Amazing. And actually have him open the box. So Ann Picha has a question. Um, is it more about returning to your roots for the process? And I think it's more of a, how does it work? Do you go back and step backwards to look for inspiration? Or are you looking to things to your past? Or where does your inspiration come from? Let me know if I got that right, Anne. It really, like, uh, day one we kind of talked about, like, B-movie posters and uh, sci-fi book covers, like, old sci-fi book covers. Um, um, I think I put it best in that, like, I like that stuff, but it's clearly, like, some of it's really corny, and I like the idea of taking it and making it cooler. Yeah. Um, we were, like, modernizing it, Yeah, I think. modernizing it. And then a scene like this, though, which just kind of came out of my head, like, really was a desire to work with type, because I have a degree in graphic design, and I miss type sometimes. Mm -hmm. And, um, but I can't emphasize this enough, it really is about, like, the things that you want to see and that you think are cool. So if you like horses with jetpacks, you should draw those. Totally. I actually think that'd be awesome to see. Yeah. I would wear those as pajamas. <laughs> yeah, like, you gotta, you gotta, really get down to who you are and be like, this is what I like. I like drawing this kind of thing and then draw that thing. Mm -hmm. I know that sounds like that's not the, the secret, but it is. Yeah. Oh, Mert says great work, by the way. And then actually, Mert, to answer your question, uh, he did start drawing an illustrator and then he's been going back and forth for Photoshop to Illustrator. Yes. So, and there's a reason behind that. It's so you can select color and fill in quickly, right? Um, when we when we kind of uh, we're not going to leave it in live trace, but when we go there, it is for the sole purpose of auditioning color. But like these lines, these arches that we did yesterday, I did them in Illustrator because it was easier. So my drawings are very moment to moment. It's like what is going to be the easiest way to get through this part the fastest? And if it's in Illustrator, then I'll jump over there and I'll bring it back in Photoshop. Cool. Oh, hi Gersimret from India. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. I'm gonna take this into color in just a second, actually. Um, it's not normally how I do it, guys. I wait until I'm totally done, but I want you guys to see a little bit how I do this thing. Hi, Andrea, welcome back. Oh yes, don't forget, if you guys have a portfolio, like Tim Mobis said, definitely, at least a couple illustration projects, definitely submit that so that you can have the chance to have Dave give you live feedback. Uh, we're gonna be reviewing two portfolios later in the session, and uh, Dave's gonna be here to give you all of his wisdom. Uh, all of it. All of it. it <laughs> He's valuable. just gonna be like, here. <laughs> There's so much wisdom to give. Yes. <laughs> I forgot, we gotta get rid of the... Ooh, yeah, we're gonna be doing portfolio reviews from space. Did you know that? Um, I've seen that before, yes. I didn't know if we were gonna do it. Oh or... yeah, we're definitely doing it. Okay. Yeah. I have a huge head, so. Well, um, we I, have huge helmets, so. Oh, dang it. <laughs> uh, hi, Alias. We are streaming from San Francisco right now. Dave is joining us from the country that he is from. Space country. Where are you from again? I was like, Utah's not that bad. <laughs> it's kind of like. I wasn't sure where you were going to say today, if you were going to say Utah or somewhere else. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm from um, Utah, New Mexico, and California. I love it. Dave was actually born as three different people, and then he came together as one. <laughs> yes, like Voltron. <laughs> exactly. Um, Hitham says, Dave, why always you wear a hat? I he wasn't, didn't yesterday. Yeah, who asked that? Uh, Hitham. Hitham. I didn't wear a hat yesterday, but I do like the way hats look. They're cool. They merge into my beard, and they make me look tougher than I am. I saw Dave without a hat when we all went out to dinner, and 
I didn't know who he was and I'd already spent two hours sitting next to him. And I was like, who's that guy? I think I know him. That's so funny, outside the <laughs> hotel, like I looked at Tracy and she went like this. And just like looked away and then looked back and looked away. Cause she's yeah, like, she's she, this creepy she's, guy staring at me. We had the same comment. We were like, do we know him? Oh my gosh, it's Dave. <laughs> and I like slowly walked toward her, which made it worse. Oh, Andrea, today is um, not an Inktober challenge. Mm. We are doing portfolio reviews today, but you can still submit for Inktober. You just won't have the chance to win anything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's still fun. Okay, we're just getting rid of these arched lines. And I think earlier, Gerson Rat had a question. What is your favorite typeface? This one. Oh, yes, serif gothic. Gothic black. Yes, serif gothic black. There you go, see? Ask and you shall receive. Yeah. <laughs> what's yours? Me? Well. Oh yeah, Gerson Rat, what's yours? <laughs> he said, yay, thanks. That's not a fun. Gotcha. <laughs> you know when like you accidentally nudge a layer mm -hmm. and like it, it's moved, like you can't do anything about it? Yeah. That has happened to us. Oh yeah, I can see it. I'm so sad. <laughs> Babus, he likes Babus. That's a good one. I like Babus. It's that nice, uh, tall, condensed, all yeah. uppercase. That was one of, uh, when I first started working in advertising, that was the font for an account I was working on. And so I got really familiar with that typeface. I hear you, man. When you work on an account with a, with a very prominent font, you're like, I worked with Memphis Gothic, or Memphis typeface for a long time for an account. And it's like that big yeah. slab serif. Yeah. Makes you really not want to work with it again for a while. <laughs> Remember yesterday how, oh, we need to open up Illustrator, how we went uh, and made our type thicker in Illustrator because I was using a thicker brush in Photoshop? Yes. Yeah, we got to do that again. Ah. Uh, I don't like backtracking this much, but. As long as we can see it in color. <laughs> okay, guys, you've got two minutes for chat and win. Yay! Oh, so nothing. Oh, there we go. Hold on, guys. Ah, too many fonts. I understand, Tim. Oh, super cool. So we're going to take this. I'm clicking on you. So. Oh. Yay! Chet and Win is Oswald's favorite font. That's cute. I like that. <laughs> Man, that's a little thicker than I like, but that's fine. Uh, Carly asks, you have color labeled Layers, do you have specific colors that you use for things or is it just random? Um, you don't have that many choices for the colors on the layers. I think mm -hmm. it's like seven or something like that. Mm -hmm. So it's literally just uh, to confuse myself. Yeah, I agree. 1.5. 45 seconds, you guys, and the stickers could be yours. All mm -hmm. you have to do is be in the chat, say something in chat, and you have the chance to win. Yay! What are we gonna ask chat this time for our question? Hmm. Um, what is your, that? What is your favorite color? We could go all Monty Python on them. What was I doing? Oh, paste. Yay, the fonts are in. It's super fun to watch all of this come to life and like put it in the layers together and ooh, looks great. I'm really mad that these moved. When did they move? How did they Maria move? says this is looking so good. Okay, you guys, it's chat and win time. Are you ready, Dave? Yeah. <laughs> chat and win, what is your favorite color? Go. Wow, there's a lot of greens out there, a lot of purples. Murples? Yes. Reds, oranges? 
Everybody's <clears throat> color choice is so unique, just like them. I love it. Orange. Orange. And wait, what's the NB? Oh, and. There's just a lot of typing here. Those aren't colors, G. Lee Designer, Yay. you sneaky. <laughs> White. <laughs> All right, I think we've got a winner. Hold on. Oh, you want to announce the winner? Go for it. Bojana S. <laughs> yes. S, yes. Good job, Bojana. You were in chat. You were open and awesome. You said something about color. You win. So you win 100 stickers from Sticker Mule. Pretty right. awesome. They're fast, they're easy, and they're custom. You've got three by three die cut stickers. And for those of you who didn't win, you get 10 free stickers if you just go and use this link, stickermule.com backslash Adobe Live, which is still pretty awesome. So we're all winners today. That even means you, Dave, you can make some stickers. I don't feel like a winner. <laughs> Oh, I like that. Paul Avros is 30% French gray. <laughs> Funny. Uh, congratulations, Bojan. Just All right, Dave, so what are we up to? Sometimes in life, when you can't get the right answer, like when this layer moved, you just have to suck it up and fix it, and that's what I'm doing, and I think I just did. I like it. So despite our varying weights. Ooh, that is looking good. We are gonna, oh, we gotta just bring our worm in a little bit. <laughs> bring in the worm. <laughs> bring it in, worm. Bring it in the worm. <laughs> Love it. Wow. The, wow. The, the danger that uh, you run into with jumping back and forth so much, though you can speed up your process, you can slow it down if you don't pay attention to weights. Um, but I kind of feel like with my style, there's like so much to be done. I have to cut corners and I have to move fast. And that means jumping around a lot, but I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing. And I don't. And I, I my, do you know what's great about this? This actually is my process. Like yeah. a lot of like, what happened? And and when did this happen? And me figuring things in and then punching love stuff. This. Like, it's real. I yeah. think that that's the thing. Like if I wasn't angry while I was designing at something, <laughs> some mistake I made. Then you couldn't, couldn't actually be, bring it out, yeah. That, that this would be not That would be natural. full of unicorns with jetpacks on. Yes. <laughs> Hi Van Dam designer, hello. Tosh and Scott are also here, hello. Tosh Brown? And Scott S. Scott Sorensen. Scott, the Scott used to be one of my bosses back at what? the last place I worked at. What's up, boss? He's a fantastic designer. So is Tosh. So good. All right. So I think that we will just. Hey, yeah, you've got some friends out there. It's pretty funny. <laughs> I'm just gonna let you keep working over here. <laughs> Oh, hello, Kevin. We're so glad that you're back and joining us. He's like, whew, just got home. Just in time to see some evil villainous type get colorized. Yes, we're gonna throw some color in. I just have to make sure that like all this stuff is sealed because when we go to apply color, it's gonna fill in where yeah. it's not. I'm sure we'll miss some areas, but. So good. I, I just want you guys to see a little bit about how I start and go about doing this. So cool. I we need to bring some more like craziness into. Um... Hi, Christian. Welcome. Hello. I'm just gonna throw some more lines into our worm, just so he feels a little grosser. Nice. Yeah, he's getting grosser. I like it. <laughs> I know, Paul. Paul says, I can't believe it's already day three. I agree. It's always a bummer when you get to day three. You're like, wait, is, is it over? <laughs> For me, it's like, I mean, the anxiety of being asked to come on this show was skyscraper tall. Oh, I love this. <laughs> so, but I am sad. It's, it's been I super know, fun. I know, right? It's yeah. so much fun. It's been awesome. Wow. 
No, Chris George, the same music is not playing live here in the studio. If it was, we'd be dancing. We Listen, don't even know what's playing, so I could be dancing out of tune. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna lie, Photoshop. You're gonna have to fight me in the street. Command D means deselect. Mm. Like, what, what does it want me to do? <laughs> deselect. If you're just joining us, we're here with Dave Arcade and he's having a verbal fight with Photoshop. I always, <laughs> gosh, I wish I could fight the computer programs. Like, I wish there was a person that you could call up and I be like, I'm Photoshop. I feel like there's a group for this, you know? It's like Photoshop is a punching bag and you just take out all your aggression. I'm the, I'm the dad that destroys. But then you hug it when you're done because you're like, thank you for helping me. I love these programs, <laughs> but because I love them, they also break my it's heart sometimes. It's a love-hate relationship. <laughs> Jeez, I don't hate them. Do you hate them? No. <laughs> I don't hate anything. You like how I turned that around? Yeah, I know, right? I was like, oh my gosh, you are the benevolent father. <laughs> no, bene benevolent hostage taker. Mark yeah. Wilkes, good theory yesterday, my friend. <laughs> okay, so we kind of have like stuff sealed at the top. It's all sealed together. Cool. It's enough so that we can take it to the limit. Hi, Simon. Hi, Siobhan. So Hi, Money Reek. Let's drop the sketch. Let's drop the perspective. Let's drop the villain for a moment. Sorry, villain. Where's this blue type coming from, Christine? Oh, it's Where is that it? blue layer. The blue layer. It's I called stuff. Good job, Dave. <laughs> so we're going to take this and yes. start to color this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh crap, look at, there's that thing right there. We just got to get this guy and then we'll be good to go. Yay! Where are you at? You're right there, causing all kinds of problems. <laughs> You're like, you are causing problems, you little arc? <laughs> oh, wait a minute, because the flow is at 50. Um, this was not the cleanest mask, but that's okay. It's okay, Kyle, I forgive you for your flow <laughs> 50 on the natural state of the Maybe brush. Kyle will come in and we can blame him for his brush. Yeah, be like, you have a problem, Dave? Yes, he starts everyone's like, me. flood it with color, flood it with color. Yes, Heidi, he's getting there. He's gonna flood it with color soon. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is so cool. <gasps> So don't forget, we have the deadline submission for portfolios in 21 minutes, which means in 21 minutes, we're gonna have two lucky portfolio submissions that will be reviewed by Dave Arcade. Hi, Dimitri, welcome back. Hi, Mornier, welcome back. Wow, that flow really did do a number. Oh, it looks good though. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Yay! I feel like I'm on one of those cooking shows. Oh, yeah. And they're like, two minutes, people. It's like, dun dun dun. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. And they're like, oh no, I dropped glass in my dish. <laughs> and then you're like having to pull the glass out. Yeah. And you're like, don't worry, just don't chew too hard. <laughs> so funny. Um, okay, so let's just take this. Uh, 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 what is that? Oh, good, Jimmy. I'm glad you're putting more drawings into your portfolio. That's what this portfolio submission is for, to light a bit of fire under your seat and help you get your stuff and your work out there on Behance. It's important to keep that open and out there. I actually really don't like that line, so we're gonna redo it real quick. Cool. And then this would not be there. I know I'm getting nitpicky, but... This, this is your process, man. This is cool to see. Okay. I mean, there's there's stuff to fix, but... Uh, oh, and one last place to seal. And we'll, we're just gonna do it this way. Uh, oh, yes, Chris George. I think I've always called it Behance, but... It did start over in Europe, so I think it's Behance. <laughs> Some people say Behance. You say Behance? I do. I say Behance. Tomato, tomato, Chris. Come on. <laughs> Take it easy, Chris. Yeah, Chris. <laughs> we share a similar name, Chris. <laughs> That's exactly. true. Exactly, exactly. Chris thinks he's better than everybody else. 
I'm better than Chris because I have one less letter. Yeah. It's with a K. Ha. Huh. <laughs> oh, this is looking so cool. I can't wait. So it's all sealed. We're doing I, it. I think so. Yes. And then we're just gonna save like we're gonna just call it four for no good reason. Yes, I love it. We could call it Ronnie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, actually, you know what? This probably gonna make it so our edges don't mess with us. Oh, I know that's a thing, Photoshop. <laughs> You're lying. Pujan is like, color! Yeah! I was gonna flatten it. Who wants to see some color? Let us know. Little color hype. Color, 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 yeah! Just so we know that, uh, don't ask why I'm making a JPEG. I do that. We're not gonna ask. Don't, don't ask. Okay, so our intent here, normally guys, I just want you to understand something. I, um, and I was given the okay to do this, but just so I'm leading you down the, my true like uh, path, the process that I follow, I use a separate piece of software to vectorize stuff and I chop it up into um, 28 by 1800 pixel segments, pieces, and I vectorize it. And sometimes I, I do like 30 vectors depending on the size of the piece. And then I assemble all of it back into Illustrator. And the reason why I use a separate piece of software is because it only vectorizes things and it it takes like four hours to go through this process, but it recreates my lines perfectly. Um, so, but for today's purposes, we are gonna use Live Trace just to get to color, just so I can show you guys color, but it's not normally what I use uh, because it doesn't quite get my lines where they need to be, um, but that's okay. So like, it's cool. <laughs> it's fine. It, it does a good enough job. Often I'll use Live Trace just to get the color and then I'll pull it back into Photoshop and put it underneath my ink layer because I want to maintain <clears> the integrity <throat> of the line. Amazing. Um, so we were in here. We're looking for that JPEG, right? Right there, bam. Welcome, Matthias. Welcome, Rachel. It's like, your artboard is this. No, it's not. Show, hide artboards. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, no, it's fine. I, you don't need to tell me that every single time. Okay, now <clears throat> this is why I use that other piece of software. Um, so we're gonna do a custom adjustment here. All right. What's it called? Oh, image trace. And we're gonna cr mess with these numbers a little bit. Go like 93 and 99. We're not done. Take it easy. And one. And this should give us a little bit more of a. I'm really sad. You got this. So we're going to end up taking this back into Photoshop for the lines because these will not suffice. See that? I think Nick Raimondi said that the top right tentacle is unsealed. There's a lot of unsealing going on. Well, let's start coloring type. Yeah, let's do it. So the cool thing about, then we go object, expand. Woo! Oh yeah, check out that vector expansion. And then I like to get rid of, okay, no, we're good. There's no white or anything. Chris George is like, Vector magic. Yeah, that's the name of something that we don't need to discuss. <laughs> um, so then, Amazing. this is how, this is why I get to this point. Um, so I can do this. Oh, it just looks so fun. It's like, like putting your fingers over a piano the way that it lights up. It's like, yeah, <laughs> it's like. At, it's very musical, you yeah. know? <laughs> Um, but imagine if this vector was like perfect and then the joy really hits you right in the heart. Um, where are my swatches? Swatches. Yay. Oh, they're visible somewhere. <laughs> You're like, I'm gonna hide them. <laughs> hide them from yourself. Swatches. Swatches, where are you? Sometimes I just have to like mess with this and then they'll appear somewhere. Oh, they were there in, in the previous one because I don't care about my workspace right now. Oh, hi, Amaltia. The winner from yesterday, welcome. 
Yes, congratulations on your win. That's a great, a great illustration. You have a great body of work. All right. Now, our background's probably going to be dark, but um, we're not going to worry about that right now. We're just going to go straight and go. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh, check this out. Colors coming in. Wait, wait, wait. That's not the pink I want. Balance scape Thalia. Yes. You missed a lot, but don't worry. You can always watch it on replay. Maybe. Maybe oh, they should be yellow. So cool with the yellow. Oh, I love it. And then we'll use like a pink. I really like the way that you bring up your color and you're using like all of the color. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah. And then, I mean, I get crazy. Like that's going to be darker because it's on the bottom. Yeah. Because um, I want it to be. Yeah. A little more, you know. This is insane. Yes, everyone's like, and the speed. Look at that color and speed. This this is why it was important for me to find like something that could vectorize my work. Gratuitous glove shot. <laughs> what tool are you using to do the coloring? Um, it is the live paint tool. Aha. There you go, Jimmy. Live paint tool. Live paint is fantastic. Woo. Its counterpart needs a little bit of work. So cool. Oh my gosh. Amazing. Um, you know what? I kind of made this bottom pink a little too dark. And we could do three days on color, honestly. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. Especially No, with... I really could. Yeah. I promise. <laughs> You're like, no, bring me back next weekend. I'm just going to do the color. <laughs> People are loving the glove cam. <laughs> yes, Fernando. Uh, glove cam. Yes, Rachel says you'll just have to come back. I know. You guys are going to have me back. Like, he didn't like the live trace tool. <laughs> so funny. Awesome tool. Everyone's like, live trace is awesome. And no, it's more the color paint. Live paint is awesome. <laughs> Um, Naladri asked, do you ever make your own swatches for the color palette? Um, yes. Sometimes I'll just drag them, like, out here, but, and, you know, like, we don't have to do pink and yellow for all of this stuff. Maybe for mm -hmm. the top ones we will. I love the pink and yellow. It's very, like, banana bubble gum. Yeah, I love pink and yellow together. It's... Do you remember that, uh, Hubba Bubba banana split bubblegum flavor? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they had pink and yellow. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, it's one of my favorites from when I was a kid. You just pulled a memory. Right? Out because of my even brain. even the gum was pink with yellow in the middle. Oops. Like it has that weird like square tube. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Well it didn't have that, but <laughs> No, I'm kidding it did. I was like, yes it did. <laughs> Did she like how I was like really gonna fight you on it? I was like, yeah. it did too. It's like, okay, <laughs> fine. Ah, so cool. So like, if I was gonna make a t-shirt out of this, all, already we're hosed because I have like 50 colors, but we're not. Yeah, but you could do like a four color printed oh. t-shirt instead of a silk screen. Yep. You know? Yes. Why is it doing that? Oh. So good. Um, you know, I'll probably go back and make the in-between color. Eh, you know what? Let's just do that. The in-between. Like, these need to feel like we're darker. Hi, and... Shauna. Welcome. Hola, Andre. Oh, this is so cool looking. Well, you guys have about 10 minutes to submit your portfolio, so definitely get those ready. And uh, you'll get prime review time from Dave Arcade. Prime this looks so cool. Time. Prime time. Wow. Um, there's a lot of. Yeah, this not, is awesome. <laughs> there's a lot of. Uh, I almost went too crazy with the variations there. I love it. I liked the cray. Who likes the cray? I like the cray. There we go. <laughs> uh, so we'll probably have to like start making rules if it's in between. Then. Ooh, that's a tough question, Siobhan. I wonder if chat knows the best t-shirt printing method if you want to use oh. gradients on a dark background. Hmm. Chat, chime in. Help Siobhan out. You know what? I'm not going to mess around with 
super dark right now. It's giving me troubles. It's kind of go kind of dark for right now. Cool. Hi, Shireen. Oops. Yo, Thomas, welcome. Got a lot of people coming in fresh right now. So, for those of you who are just joining us, out of place in outer space, Dave Arcade is making color. He's bringing this poster to life and it's incredible. <laughs> um, Naladri is asking, how much time do you think it takes for such a detailed piece of work? Um, this, if I would probably, it'd take two more days. Nice. So not too bad. So yeah, it's it's not unusual for something like this to, um, like the Tom Jones song, it's not unusual. It's not unusual. Uh, you know, take a week. Yeah. I like it. That's not bad, man. That's pretty, that's pretty short. Yeah. Very quick. Chris be. George is asking, how many hours total? He's like, but how many hours? Um, <laughs> It's uh, about shut up amount of hours. <laughs> you made Siller laugh out loud. Yes. When Paco laughs out loud and it's audible, it's like made my day. <laughs> Take He's <that>. like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chris, how about that? <laughs> um, I'm just kind of going through here and getting color in. This is so cool. <laughs> I want to show you guys when I bring it back into Photoshop. Henry Smith's like so more than 12 hours or it's uh <laughs> let me see it's uh I'm gonna punch your face about <laughs> about amount of time Henry I'm really glad your friends are tuning in <laughs> if, if I'm being mean they're my friends chat yeah right so <laughs> don't sorry. worry chat he knows them yes <laughs> if you ask questions he'll be nice <laughs> yes except you for you guys I know who you are now Dons. <laughs> yes See, uh, if you guys are paying attention, I started off with like, oh, I'm gonna put a lot of variation in color in this bottom one, and now I'm going back and I'm making it all the same pink because I'm not ready I to like commit to that I like the variation, it's cool. Just not ready to commit to it yet. But for our purposes, we'll just kind of leave it for now. What this color is... are we gonna make the worm? Um, he would be better if he was pink. Ooh. Which is another thing that happens to me a lot where I'm like, oh, like, but you know what? But he could be different pink, like flesh pink. Well, I, we could try. We could try blue. Yes, space worm blue. Yeah, blue goes well with those colors. Oh but we yeah. We could give him like a maybe like what? Get out of here. <laughs> Ooh, see, puke green. Jimmy's like puke green. <laughs> it's weird. Like for some reason, this didn't activate. But let's we'll give him a pink mouth. Yeah. He's got white lips for right now. He's like, ooh. <laughs> yeah, these are clearly not sealed. Uh, let's let's just give our fire like a color. What color should our fire be? Uh, what color should fire be? Chat, tell us. <laughs> ooh. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Purple. Purple. Purple or orange? <laughs> like <laughs> purple, <laughs> green, icy blue. Let's see, what's orange look like? <laughs> Heidi, Jazz Alley Orange. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's super 70s, that orange, yeah, but it's like. Yeah, that's cool. Purple is tempting. Elf green. Ooh, yeah. That purple looks pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um, I can't wait to like take some time with this and make it exactly how it should be. It's gonna be fun. Racine well, not that says, I'm not doing that. add some gold and white to it. <laughs> Actually, white, <laughs> is a good color to, I mean, we could even do this, guys. Good friend Tosh taught me the value of cream color. Oh yeah, man, cream is always on point. Yeah, because it really, oof. Yep. And, you know, I mean, another thing to consider is. Then everything else will pop out. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Thanks, Siller. He's like, nice, it's looking good. <laughs> I love it, it's so cool. Oh, that didn't seal, that's okay. <laughs> this is clearly not. All right, Chris George, we've got you on our number. <laughs> uh, is Chris feeling bad? Or no, he's feeling good. He's he's like, you went right to Creamtown. 
<laughs> so cream town's an inside joke. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I would imagine. <laughs> uh, I think that's the way we described anything that was like really awesome. <laughs> wow, it took me right to cream town. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Again, Siller for the win on the laugh <laughs> over there. He's like, <laughs> Basically, everyone in chat I'm interacting with, we all used to work together and we had so many stupid jokes. How many stupid jokes, Chris? How many, in terms of yeah, hours? Yeah, Chris, how many in terms of hours? <laughs> He's probably gonna be like, shut up. <laughs> no, it was, it got up there. Jill, Jill DeHaan was part of that. Oh, Sean, Michael. good question. Um, you don't need plugins to have Pantone specific colors. All you need to do is go to your color palette, yep. go to color books, and then pick Pantone. It's a nested choice. Yes. You know, we could have like a, oh, our dome isn't sealed. Well, still. No. You guys are kind of getting the idea. This is so cool. So well, that's okay, we have a little bit more time so we can like play around. Oh, I'm curious what Lonely's gonna look like. Well, maybe you'll never know. Ah! <laughs> oh, crap. And now I agree, it's a fun environment. <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, we're on grouping. Okay, so if I wanna bring this back into Photoshop so we can maintain the integrity of our line, we have to ungroup even more. Do you ever do this where you're just like, yeah, ungroup, like, ungroup? Yes, forever. Yes. It's... Until it's like, until there's nothing. Yeah. And then you're like, I'm sorry. And so we're gonna go select same fill color, which is black. I love that trick, the yes. select same fill color. Because we all, yeah, we only want. You well, only want the lines. Yeah, we only want this, which always kind of looks cool by itself. Yeah, it does. But it looks much more prominent when it's got the line work around it. It has that nice detail. Yes. Yes. Whoa, where did, So oh. wild and cool. So then we go object path, offset path, and we're so gonna. So you have about two minutes to put your portfolios in submission for review. Woohoo! Oh, no, we wanna go negative 0 0.02. No, we don't wanna go negative. Positive. Hi, Paulo, welcome. Undo that. Select all. We're trying to expand the color right now, so when it sits behind the lines in Photoshop, mm -hmm. it sits underneath them. Ooh, Shireen's like, my mind is blown, you're so good. Zero. Thank you. Say more stuff like that. Remember yesterday when you were like, everyone be mean today. You're like, everyone be nice. <laughs> well, I'm really sad that I wasn't able to finish this for you, so my confidence is just really shaken. <laughs> what is happening here? There we go. Okay, we want something kind of like that. Nice. Where, um... Yeah, that looks so cool. We can now take this, copy... I can just imagine Oops. how amazing this is going to be when you... S Send it out on your behinds. Yes, and I am going to do that, so stay tuned. Yes, everyone follow Dave Arcade so that you can watch the progress and see it when it comes to life. Because I'm gonna, I'm doing a bunch of these because I'm gonna make a little book out of them, so I have to do like 40 of these. So it'll take like five years. John Tertios. John. Is asking, is it true that before you became an illustrator, you were a hip hop dance instructor? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Um, That's why you wear the hat. Yeah. Yeah, does it look like, because that's what I'm going for. Yeah. Uh, John is a really talented art director I used to work with. The guy can build anything. Once he put, you know those little things that come as a result of making a three hole punch and it, they're like little? Yeah. He saved like a garbage bag full of them and put them in my overhead. Oh my thing. gosh, that's an advertising trick for sure. I opened it and it was mayhem. That's fun. All right, you guys have 10 seconds. That means so do you, you have 10 seconds. Copy, <laughs> I just want you to see how great this stuff looks with, oh, I forgot our type is white. <laughs> <laughs> but I would rectify that and we're just kind of looking at, oh. So cool. Where did, anyway. Um, you guys get the idea. I, w I just wanted you to see as far into the process as you could and we kind of made it. That's pretty awesome. I'm really liking where it's going right now. So. That being said, we have come to submission end. The deadline is here. So we are going to 
go out into space. We'll be right back. We'll so show some portfolios. I think I saw Voodoo Val out there. <laughs> hey guys, we're back from space. We've got two portfolios to review here. Some uh, very talented lucky winners. Oh, you're drinking Rockstar in space? Mm -hmm. <laughs> space Rockstar! I hope there's no worms out here. Amazing. So, um, Dave, how, how do you like space? Um, it's really scary. You kind of have the Darth Vader thing going on with the glove. You're like, yeah. I have the force. Yeah, I know, the force is with us. Um, yeah, speaking of very funny, Thomas T, we're gonna review your portfolio first. Pretty cool, right? Oh yeah, Everything maybe you blue. can do it with a blue filter. So, we. I'm just gonna come out of space. You can stay in space the whole time. Why do you get to come out? I can come out of space whenever I want, you know? <laughs> really? <laughs> sure. Oh man, I accidentally did too. Cool hair, Dave. <laughs> Check that out. All right. Thomas T is our first, is our first victim. Nice, this looks awesome. <laughs> um, Thomas T is from Cherbourg, France. He is, let's see, let's see a little bit about Thomas T. He's in illustration, art direction, graphic design. Yeah, he is. He's a 20 year old freelance <laughs> illustrator and graphic designer based in France, offering character designs, character designs and other various artworks. Super cool. Tons of projects. Oh yeah. What's that one? This one? Yeah. All right, let's take a look through these. What? Oh, look at that. So he gets crazy with the lines too. Wow. Oh, nice, taking us through the process. Nice. Yeah, I like, actually, let, here, go back to the big piece. Is that back? Oh, okay, so it's, let's, sorry, keep going. I think he's going to reveal it. Mm. So he started with, uh, on a piece of paper, probably scanned it in. Mm-hmm. Colored it. Whoa. Yeah, it's cool. Um, like, per personally, where I'd try and get this, you don't have to be like me, but um, that's not what I'm saying. Uh, but you have, like, this nice shadow in between your folds and your gooey stuff um, that you can do with darker colors. You might not need to be so scribbly, mm -hmm. but you definitely have, like, some fun stuff going on there, but because there's a lot going on, you ha you should simplify uh, your lines a little bit. And feel free to, if you want to drive. Oh, okay. That way you can take a look through. Okay, let's. Uh, really cool. Yeah, but I mean, you have a ton of stuff, man. Yeah. Um, what's this Coke thing? Cool. So you you have some range for sure because yeah. this is very graphic designy. Mm-hmm. Like the red Coke bottle, 2020. 2020 Coke. Nice. Was this? With the cherry blossoms in the background, it looks like. Feels oh, like yeah. a Olympian. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Nice. Yeah, you nailed it. Yeah. This is nice. I like this. Uh, mm -hmm. I like this Coke on this uh, kind of striped background. Nice graphic look. It's mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, good job. Let's see, what is this awesome thing? What? That's awesome. Hey, this is like what we're doing. Totally, that's cool. Oh, look at that, it's oh, for Wacom. Oh, neat. It's coming out of the tablet. Yeah, so you know about doing line work and filling in with color. This That looks great. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's really cool. It's, you have enough going on right here, my friend. Uh, oh, <laughs> um, I don't know if you need, I don't know if you need this background. Yeah. It's, it's tough, like as a designer, like the, your strongest or your most important tool is your ability to edit, right? Completely, yeah, self-curation yep. is really important. Yep, um, and it's tough because you'll have like all this cool stuff and you fall in love with it. You're mm -hmm. like, oh, I wanna combine it. Um, but you gotta always remember the eyeballs of the viewer. Because this, yeah. this is great what you have coming out of the Wacom tablet already. And yeah. That's all you need. Like the illustration alone is super cool where if you just flooded the background with a color, like cream. Yeah. Cream background, man. Cream is where it's at. Cream town. Cream town. Um, yeah. Super. Okay. Let's do another one. 
Uh, what about this purple guy right here? Oh, look, there's Daft Punk. Oh. <laughs> I was like, hey, look, Daft Punk. Oh my gosh. Daft Punk helmets. <laughs> hey, we were wearing helmets too. Yeah. It's us. Yeah. No way. Thanks, Thomas T. <laughs> Have you ever seen how much these are on eBay when somebody actually builds them? No. They're like 3000 bucks. What? Why? Yeah, it's just a helmet. I know, but they well, go We got all these out. for like, you know, $50 or something. And they're way cooler. <laughs> hey, Tracy. Hey, Alice. They're in the house. Oh, this is cool. Yeah. Check that out. Great mock-ups, too. Yeah, your mock-ups are, are really nice. Um, yeah, these are these are nice. Uh, maybe maybe the same comment for the background. Um, mm -hmm. But if the, if you're aiming for something, by all means, keep keep going for it. That's just my personal feedback. Like that orange mm -hmm. and the helmets, simpler. Totally. Because you you want it to be about the helmets. It's more powerful. Yeah, it's. Yeah. And this took me a long time to figure out, like. Uh, teachers and and bosses are like it's distracting. Like, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Like, are you really losing the helmets? And they're like, no, but my focus is going off them long enough that it's annoying, Dave. So stop it. And then totally. they slap me really hard. <laughs> so funny. All um, right, this the purple one. Yeah. Cool. Nike drips. So here's a good example of like when it's okay because you're using the craziness as the art. Mm-hmm. And I mean, your layers here and textures and I mean, you got a lot of energy um, in your work and a lot of passion and it's very expressive and that's great. Oh, that's the swoosh. Oh, cool. Nice. How come it's not swollen? Oh, here we go. There we are. There we go. Oh, I like your Nike drips. Um, that's cool typeface. just by itself. Yeah. Yeah, it's this too, the nice type. Yeah. And these. Crops right here are great. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, this is where it's all kind of brought together. Okay, this, I'm glad you have this. Like, your crazy backgrounds should be your pieces. Mm -hmm. Like, just make those into their own thing. And then this Agreed. clean background, great. I would make the Nike Drips logo a little bit bigger. I would fill it oh, with yeah. this space right here. Yep. Just because it's hard to read and see, and that's kind of the most important part that you want people to take away. Anel Henning says, that's hot design. It is hot design. This is a hot design. Henry says, nice work. I love this color palette too. Yeah, it is a great palette. I think that's kind of the purple that I should do for this background. Yeah, right? Thanks. Super purple. Thanks for the inspiration, Thomas. Yeah, thanks, Thomas T. <laughs> All right, we probably got time for one more in here. Let's look at that. This one? Yep. Okay. Got some He-Man type. Ooh, I love it. Oh, fun. <laughs> yeah. Dare rising. What's dare rising? Yeah. 80s retro. Our kid. And chat, do you guys know what dare rising is? Is it like a synth wave band? Is it, hello, I am new? Hi, Gadifi. He is new. Um, Got some Whoa! lightning. Got some boulders. This is like Tron, man. It's very yeah. Tron going in there. Yeah. Super Tron. Nice. Yeah, with a um, little dig dug. Yeah, <laughs> you, you are combining Tron and dig dug, I'd, which is super weird. <laughs> yeah. It's like dig dug rocks, yeah. and dig dug lightning, and then like Tron. <laughs> yeah, nice good way to way to nail it. Yeah, a little Galactica or Gal Galaga. Galaga, yeah. yeah. I, w I would take that Dare Rising type and just make it big. Totally, I'm with yeah. you on that, man. That's if super awesome. Type type needs to like. Kind of, if it's it needs to communicate. Yeah, exactly. There, there's what I was looking for. Like this on its own is super cool. Yeah, I maybe, love it. Maybe it's not dare, because that is a different language. I don't know. No, it's no, it's not. It says achieve it. Achieve okay. it. Oh, so achieve you, it. You need a stronger space in between achieve and it. Yeah, I was trying to read that too. Nice job, Thomas T. Really awesome work. Um, thank you for submitting, very talented. We've got another portfolio here, Jeffrey Fulgencio, amazing. So Jeffrey is a digital artist in focusing with drawing and illustration. Uh, he's a vector artist illustrator aiming to grow and develop great art through the iPad Pro. Pretty awesome, he's from San Francisco, California. He's local. Oh nice. How cool. Just come on in right now, Jeffrey. <laughs> All right, what do you want to start with? Um, let's look at let's look at Iron Man. All right. I kind of like these like. Oh, these are cute. They're yeah, like, these like little baby iron. <laughs> I love this. Yeah. 
Oh, that's funny. This is so funny. They look like babies. They do. Oh, let's, let's look at his process. Look at this, yeah. this is baby Iron Man. He's like, no. <laughs> Okay, everyone pay attention to this. This is a good process. He starts <laughs> this is off. so cute. <laughs> Do you guys see how he started with like the roughest of sketches, then he inked it, and now he's putting in the rendering. I love this. <laughs> oh, look at that. He started over. He was like, I don't like this particular style. He wants more of a vector look. So cool. These do look like babies in onesies, but yes. suits, they're awesome. What a great style, yeah. you know? Yeah, I've, I've seen <laughs> so cool. I've seen like uh, like toddler uh, superheroes before, but I like this body shape better. I than do too. They actually look like little this kids. Body shape's more like a minion. You yeah, know? it's got that minion feel. Oh, I love it. Okay, let's see another one. <laughs> yeah, this is so fun. Got baby Spider Man. Yeah, baby Spider Man. <laughs> We're like, ooh, yeah. Oh my gosh, he's like me. Yeah. He's, he's yanking yeah. something toward Mine. him. Mine. Yeah. Oh yeah, let's see the sketch process. His little tucked legs are, are very nice. They're super cute. And... Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. This is the cutest superhero I've ever seen. Yeah. I like how he changed the legs too. He's yeah. like, yeah, this doesn't work. How about that? Oh, yeah. maybe this. It's nice, it kind of reminds me of what you were saying for your process. Like, yeah. you just iterate and iterate until you feel like it's right. Yep. And it's fun, like, guys like this are, they can draw better than me. Like, they're, they're clearly, Will you like, hear that, Jeffrey? Maybe you'll, maybe you'll work with Dave someday. <laughs> I really... You two should collaborate. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't, I, like, this, this is a guy who, like, was probably more trained in illustration, it looks like. Pretty cool. Really nice work, Jeffrey. Yeah. All right, what's next? Let's look at this guy. This guy, Ant-Man. Oh, different, I like this. Yeah, yeah. Giant jaw. Yeah. I like it. It's kind of uh, like a character look. Yeah, cool um, textures too. Yeah. Yeah, you're a good illustrator, Jeffrey. Jeff. Jeff, if you will. Oh, cool, outlines. Oh, so iPad cool. Pro. Yeah. And Adobe uh, Sketch. And Draw, yeah. Draw, Draw. Uh -huh. yeah. That's cool to see. It's a really nice way that you've mocked up your process to show what the tools you're using. Yep. Really nice. Oh, Jeffrey's in chat, yay! That's the dream. Right. Cool. Any professional appreciate the feedback. Nice. Jeffrey, how long have you been doing this? Yes, Jeffrey, tell us. Jeffrey. <laughs> You're like, answer me, Jeffrey. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey? <laughs> we just need to know his middle name and then we can yell at him. <laughs> he's at his house like this. Yeah, he's like, he's I'm not, not gonna answer. you. Yeah. All right, let's look at another one. This is really fun. <laughs> see, uh, let's scroll a little bit. Yeah, oh yeah. Let's scroll all the way down so you see what you're working oh, geez, with. Oh geez, Whoa, whoa, okay. Then we'll go all the way back up. He's been drawn whoa. forever, haven't you? He's actually 95. Are you 95? He said ye yes. Yes. <laughs> Jeffrey's 95, he's like a long time, for a long, long time. Let's look at these guys, because they have okay. emotion in their face, and yes. that's not easy. Whoa, yeah. That's good, man, like, it, it's really hard to capture emotion. Um, yeah, and teeth, that's amazing. Oh, wait a minute. Here, go down for a second. What are we, is that Illustrator? That is Illustrator. Those aren't paths. What? Are you painting this in Illustrator? What? Check that out. I was just gonna say, um, maybe you should give it like, a, your work should take like a more of a vector stylization, but if you look closely at this, here, go back up for a second. Uh huh. Look at like how cool that is. Like all those little mountains of vector wow. spiky so shapes. So many. You're really good at layering to create, like uh, to give volume to your so subjects. So cool, yeah, yeah, this is incredible. That's cool, man. Nice job. Even the armpit. This is awesome. Yeah, maybe you have like hair just blasting out. <laughs> so funny. <Ooh. laughs> oh, Jeffrey, it's great, man. iPad Pro imported to Illustrator. Okay, what's what what what's next? Um, Can we look at these? Yes, I wanted to look at the waffles. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah. Okay, let's see this. It's got a little video. Hard to breathe. Hard to breathe. A lyric video. Waffles. Golden. Jazz hand waffles. <laughs> nice. Well, we won't watch the whole thing. Yeah. 
That's making me hungry. Me too. I love waffles, especially with butter. Ooh. I was like slimy Great type. Great type, too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Nice. I really like your process videos. I think this is really fun to see how everything comes to life. Do you ever do this? Uh, sometimes, right. but not on my Behance. I probably maybe I should. Which which site? Behance. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're so sensitive. I am. Gosh. I, I, got, I got stabbed in the arm yesterday. Oh my gosh. With a sword. Really? Yeah. It went all okay, the way. Okay, okay. I know you're just hosing me now. <laughs> um, all right. So let's take one more. We'll look at one more and then we're going to go back to your work. Okay. Okay. Which one? Let's look at this one. This one? Yep. Okay. Was Battle that the right the one? Bay. Yeah, that was yeah. right. Oh, yeah. Whoa. So who do you like more, the A's or the Giants? Oh, Jeff? I mean, geez, that's a tough question, Jeff. Well, who who are you supposed to like if you live in San Francisco? I don't know. I mean, okay. I, Jeff, right. who are we supposed to like? Again, he's just folding his arms. He's, he's like, like, I'm not telling you. I kind of like the way the Giants look here, but, you know, elephants yeah. are cute too, but, like, elephants? Terrible mascot. Yeah. Who wants to be an elephant? Well, you don't like elephants? No, I do, but not as a mascot. Yeah, they're kind of, they're a little too special. Wow. Okay, Whoa. so again, this is a vector. This process is insane. Look, it's the Salesforce Tower. So this was recent. Yeah. Yeah, July. He just did this in July. Was this just a personal project or was this for a poster or? I love that. Very diplomatic, Jeffrey. He's like, I like the Giants, but I support the Bay Area. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I will gain no enemies here today. <laughs> Good sketch. Like, yes. Oh, okay. Cool. You did make it for somebody. So cool. You made it for the Giants. I'm assuming that this is Jeff holding his poster. Would that be correct? Is that true, Jeff? For the Battle of the Bay art show. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Battle of the Bay. Oh, yeah. That's Jeff. I see the resemblance here and yes. here and there and there. Yes. Nice. Cool. Nice job, Jeff. I mean, yeah. what a great portfolio. You're a talented illustrator. I definitely love Baby Iron Man. He's the cutest in the world ever. OK, so don't forget, if you didn't get your submission in for portfolios this time, you've got a chance after our show with Tracy Ching, and she'll be reviewing in the next hour with Alice Lee. So let's hop back over to Dave's screen and see where we're at. Woohoo! A typical situation where I lost a piece of art. <laughs> you are so funny. I, I don't know why I can't. Do you know what this whole process is like? It's like wrangling kids and like, where did they go? And like, you know, Except just, they're your kids. So yeah. you're like, where did I put them? <laughs> Have you ever seen Raising Arizona? Yes. You know when he's stealing the baby? Yes. And he's like bouncing one and then one escapes the room. Yes. Keeping track of all of my art that's for some like reason is like Nick that. That's good Nick Cage. Good Nick Cage. Yeah, that's what. That's that's my, when he was good. That's my third favorite movie of all time. Oh, I love that movie. Uh, what about um, Honeymoon in Vegas? Not as good. Oh, that's pretty good. What about Leaving Las Vegas? Oh yeah. Oh, that's the one. Yeah. That is movie, that the one? That, yeah. That's, that's where he kills himself um, by drinking himself to death in 30 days. Oh no, that's different. But I do like that book. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, so for those of you who are back with us, Dave Arcade has about, I would say, six minutes oh, to well, complete this entire piece. See this area over <laughs> no here, pressure. Guys? No pressure. Where did it go? <laughs> Where'd your color go? I was so excited. Well, I, I, I still have the color, but... Josh, see, you're always late. Ugh. <laughs> He's late again. <laughs> Welcome, Josh C. We have amazing show from today, looking through Dave Arcade's process. You can always play it again on replay. Just go to behunts.net, and at the top of the page, you'll see replays, and you can click there and visit anyone's scene again. So it's pretty nice. I think I like deleted that accidentally or something. The color one? No, all this business <laughs> on this side. Like all of this, all of, oh, you can't see all the stuff that was right here. It's uh, it's pretty great, but anyway, you know. Ooh, there it is! Oh my goodness, but so cool. See how we colored it in? Yes. But where where is it? We can do an offset so thing. So cool. Um, 
but yeah, obviously we'd get to a point where we could color the whole darn thing. Mm -hmm. and I'm really excited to do that, actually. Yeah, are you kidding? This is looking amazing. I can't wait to see the final piece. But you guys get the idea. Yeah, we get the idea. We could even do this. Uh, what? Yes, Kelly Penfold. She's like, wow, that looks amazing. It does look amazing. Just for the fun of it. And Monir's asking, when you consider uh, choosing your color palette, like, how do you consider choosing your palette for illustration work? Um, sometimes you have to go with, like, if the run and snippy stuff, that is a super weird palette because I was asked to combine um, pinks and yellows with brown. Mm -hmm. And so I, if you look at that palette, it is, it's really strange, mm -hmm. but I, I had to do it so it fit the cafe. Totally. Um, and the character palette in the, in the animation is really strange, so. The character palette in the animation. Like Ren and Stimpy's colors are yes. strange. They're muted and kind of, it's like. They're gross. Yeah, they're gross. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, which is awesome. <laughs> um, I don't know, ever since I was in art school, um, I've had a palette in my head and it, they're basic colors uh, from the rainbow. Um, I love pinks and yellows and purples. I like all colors. I don't know, I guess kind of what I'm feeling at the time. So I, I don't like have a more scientific approach to it. Oh, Simone is asking, are you going to post the final work in Behance or Instagram? I'm gonna post it to both. Both, boom. So make sure you guys are following Dave Arcade. Uh, you can follow him on Behance. You can also link to his Instagram. It's Dave Arcade. Just at Dave Arcade, right? Uh, yes, both are just Dave Arcade. Yep. So check him out. If you follow along, he'll be uh, putting this very soon. Ooh. Rachel, Jonas, Asher, and Ike, you're my best friends. Friends. Don't <laughs> tell Zelda. Oh, Zelda's your dog, right? Yeah, we have a joke in our house where- I love it. If you're standing next to, if I'm standing next to my wife and Jonas is there, I say, Jonas, you're my best friend, don't tell mom. <laughs> I love it. But you're all my best friends, don't tell Zelda. That's such a dad thing. My dad's always like, you're my favorite daughter. He's like, don't tell your sisters. <laughs> and I'm like, I know you say that to them too. <laughs> Amazing. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> I'm still wondering where this art <laughs> went. I just love it. So you still get to color in all of this without us and it's kind of a bummer because we all want to watch. <laughs> Maybe you could do a live, uh, a little live yeah. session of your own I where could, you can film yourself and put it on your behunts. That would be amazing. I could do it on Instagram. Yeah. Um, you guys could have <laughs> me back and I'll do something way less ambitious. <laughs> Let this be a lesson to all of you. Ambition is overrated. <laughs> We're like <laughs> <laughs> We made Siller laugh. <laughs> oh, Michael Roos is Dave. You will be missed, sir. Who said that? Michael Roos. Thanks, Michael. And then everyone's following you on Instagram right now. I'm getting a lot of follows and it makes me feel better about myself. Totally, that always makes me feel like I have real friends. Except I, uh, so I followed Tracy <laughs> yesterday and she followed me back. Oh, I'm gonna do that immediately, no, man. No, it's, it's, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> now it's like a guilt follow. If I follow you, you're gonna guilt me. <laughs> I'm gonna unfollow you so fast once you follow me. You're the worst. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, thanks for follow and follow. I, I love that, I love it when, um, cause you know how people just follow you cause they're like a racquetball company. Yeah, totally. But then when your friend or somebody you used to work with unfollows you, it feels so good to unfollow them. Oh my gosh, you're the worst. Dave Arcade here, everyone. This has been a great three days. Please follow him so that you can see his process come to life. We have an amazing three more sessions today. We've got Tracy Ching up with Alice Lee next. And then we've also got Aldo Crusher in the house and Andy Espinosa coming up later today. So stick with us, it's a lot of fun. Thanks guys. Thanks, and if you find this part of my illustration, let me know where it's at. <laughs>